Hi guys. If you've ever been out and just wanted to get home fast, your iPhone can help. Just say Siri, take me home. And boom, directions appear, hands free, and you can start navigating home. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use take me home. It's quick and simple. We can start by opening contacts or you can tap the phone app and tap contacts from there and then tap on your contact card. That's the card with your name at the top. Once you open that, see if you already have a home address saved. If not, create one. Tap edit on the top right. Then scroll down. If you need to add your address, tap add address. Type in your street number, your street name, the city, state, and zip, and make sure the label is set to home. When you're all done, tap done in the top right. Now we're going to go to Apple Maps and open that and make sure your home address is set there. Once you open Maps, you'll see a blue home icon. That's where your address should be. Tap to open it and see if your address is listed correctly there. If it's not there, Tap on the home icon and add it. While you're here, you could also add a work address. Tap add, type in your work address, and then tap done. Now you can say, Siri, take me home. You can also say, Siri, take me to work. Now let's go confirm a few settings to make sure this works properly. First, we'll make sure Siri is turned on. We'll go to settings and tap Siri. If you have the newest iPhone, instead of Siri, it'll say Apple Intelligence and Siri. And then we'll tap talk to Siri. Then you can choose Siri or Hey Siri, or just Hey Siri. You can also turn on the switch for press side button for Siri. The last setting we need to make sure is turned on is location services. So go to settings, scroll to the bottom and tap privacy and security. Then tap Location Services and make sure Location Services is turned on. That's it. It was that easy. Now whenever you need to, just say Siri, take me home. Before we go, I want to share two more quick tips for your iPhone. You can show the battery percentage on the status bar. Open Settings and tap Battery. Then just tap the switch to turn battery percentage on. Now you can see exactly how much battery is left. If you'd like an even more prominent way of seeing your battery life, you can add a battery widget to the home screen. A widget is kind of like a mini version of an app that lives right on the home screen or the lock screen. Instead of opening the full app, the widget shows you quick, helpful info at a glance like the weather or your calendar. You can think of it like a little window into the app, showing you just the stuff you care about without having to tap or swipe around. Touch and hold anywhere on the home screen. When the apps start to jiggle, tap the edit button in the top left corner, then tap add widget. You can either type in battery 
or you can scroll through the list of all the widgets until you get to battery. Then tap on batteries, scroll to the left and look at the different widgets that are offered for batteries and then tap add widget. Then you can tap done. While you're adding the battery widget, you might scroll through the list and see if anything else looks like it would be helpful to add to your home screen. After you tap add widget and it's added to your home screen, you can move it around and resize it. Just tap on the handle on the bottom corner and make it bigger. When you're happy with it, tap done. So that's it for today. Next time you're out, just say Siri, take me home and let your iPhone handle the rest. It's a small thing, but it can help simplify your day. I hope these tips were helpful. If you learned something, please tap the thumbs up and subscribe for more iPhone tips. Thanks for watching. See you next time.